Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Balkowicz. We're back for part three of our Thyroid Thursday series on reactive hypoglycemia. And if you didn't watch the other videos, go back and watch video one and video two. But I just want to give you a recap. We talked about reactive hypoglycemia being the state where your blood sugar actually drops too low about an hour to four hours after a meal. And we said, how do you realize that that's what's going on? You're going to have symptoms like anxiety and irritability, something we call hangry, uh, blurred vision, dizziness or lightheadedness. You may actually feel like you're going to pass out. You may get confusion or brain fog. You eat your meal. You come back to work, you sit down at your desk, you just can't think, you just can't focus. Uh, fatigue and weakness, you can get sweating, you can get headaches, heart palpitations, you can get hungry really pretty quickly, and you can have disturbed sleep. And so what we want to talk about today is this thing called first phase insulin response. And this is really important to understand uh, what's going on here. Within the first 2 to 15 minutes of eating, your GI tract should get signals that food is coming into the system and the, and the GI tract makes this hormone called GLP-1. That GLP-1 gets into the bloodstream and stimulates the pancreas to release preformed insulin. And so that way when we eat and blood sugar starts to rise, there's insulin there to match the glucose and bring the, the glucose or the blood sugar back down into our baseline. And we said the optimal baseline for fasting blood sugars between about 82 and 88. But if there's problems within the, G, in the GI tract, we could have either an increased GLP-1 or a delayed or decreased GLP-1 uh, response and that in both of those situations, we can get reactive hypoglycemia. So in a state where there's, you have fast motility, like you eat and you have to go to the bathroom right away because your bowels move really quickly. You may be moving food through the, through the stomach into the intestine way too fast. In that situation, you're gonna get increased GLP-1 production. And that what's gonna happen is your blood sugar's rising, you're getting too much preformed insulin released, and it's going to cause your blood sugar to drop below baseline too quickly, and you're going to get those reactive hypoglycemic symptoms. In the other situation, if you have really slowed bowel motility, and you, have, you may have a delayed or slowed GLP-1 response, or if you have dysbiosis, and you can have dysbiosis and a bacterial overgrowth in the GI tract in either one of these conditions, but if you have dysbiosis and you have a decreased GLP-1 production, then you're not going to get that first phase insulin response, and what's going to happen is your blood sugar is going to start to rise, it's going to start slowly start to decrease over time, but your insulin is gonna actually spike too late as the blood sugar is actually starting to decline, and that's gonna rapidly drop your blood sugar and put you in that reactive, um, reactive hypoglycemic state. So GLP-1 is this critical enzyme to support uh, first phase insulin response, and it's really one of the earliest indicators, if you have disrupted first phase insulin response, probably one of the earliest indicators that you are in the process or you have a high likelihood of developing diabetes over time. And so what do you do in, these, in this situation? You're not going to really recognize this piece, but the important part is, is that if you have blood sugar issues, if you have reactive hypoglycemic issues, if you know or believe you have hypothyroidism, whether you're being treated or not, and you know you have GI issues, irritable bowel syndrome, whether it's IBS or IB, IBC or an IBS mixed, um, seek out a functional medicine practitioner who understands blood sugar physiology in this first phase insulin response and get some help. This isn't something you're going to fix by eating every two hours. That doesn't fix the problem we have going on in the GI tract. So reach out to a functional medicine practitioner like myself who can really do a good evaluation, determine what's causing uh, a problem with your first phase insulin response, address the problem many times it's either that hypothyroidism or this first phase insulin response problem due to some type of dysbiosis in the GI tract. And if we can fix this, then we can start to regulate blood sugar properly.
okay? Hope this helps. If you have any questions, put your questions below wherever you watch the video. And if you need help, you can always reach out to my office, okay? Take care.